Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iacchino. So gap down in Tesla, hitting our key target area and then closing still in the rotation zone. Thanks for the emails. Uh, one question, what does it mean if there's a gap down when it's in the rotation zone? Nothing, we just start watching for immediately for the gap fill. And we already identified that we didn't get the key close below here, but the gap moved down and then it moved to lower. Let me show you. Well, I really appreciate the questions. Let me show you how I like to look at this for playing it. So the moment I see a gap down. And here's, this is a, a five minute chart. Here's the area that I've been talking about the area you know where we could find some potential support so let's say you got a gap down we're still in the rotation zone so it's still bullish on the daily uh so maybe you're looking for a buy well first thing you see is it runs down you see right here higher high higher divert higher rsi sorry about that lower price action so Price moved down, RSI moved up, confirming a divergence, then we get the rally back up. How do I find targets? Now this, I don't think I've ever put out a video on this. What I do, and this is something I've done for years and researched, I go to the prior close, and this was the prior close right there. I bring it down once I think I have a potential low. Uh, so once you get the divergence and then a quick reversal up, that's a potential low for me. And then if I'm trading it from the long side, I generally go out to a longer term chart, especially if I'm doing something short term, like a 15 minute chart. So I start watching the rotation zone, but also my key target area, if we're going from the close to the potential low, I watch for the 50 to 62 and a half percent area. So that's the area I'm watching. So as it's rallying up, you're coming up here, see how it stalled out at the 62.5 and, and then went back lower. If you're uh, watching, you watch for the, like the 15 minute rotation zone because this is just a little short trade and it that's the first area. If a gap is not going to fill, it's generally going to stall out between the 50% and the 62.5% retracement. That's a nice little thing you can take. I hope it can help a uh, number of people and you can see that it traded down came up to 15 minute rotation zone and rotating back down you can also see when you use these gaps to lows and it works gaps to highs this just happened to be a gap down how it, things tend to trade between the levels you can really see it on a five minute chart so you know we rally up pause there come back retest go through it pause there come back retest go through it pause there come back retest pause drop down to the lower one, drop down again. See, that was a really nice low right there. And I'm not saying all these were tradable. I'm saying this is how you can start incorporating some of this stuff in. Here was an intraday double top on the five minute. We've talked about double tops a lot. But you can do, you can easily, if you're trading intraday, let's say you're trading intraday and all right, I have a potential double top. Here are my targets. So we come back down, coming down, hitting the first profit date, stop, first profit taking, rallying back up to retest the double, then rotating back down and filling the targets. So that's just a way you can do that with gaps on lower time frames. We're not really focused on lower time frames because I can't do the videos all the time throughout the day. That would be my full-time job then. Uh, no first cross yet on the rotation zone. So four hour is now in neutral mode, okay? It's gone from bullish mode to neutral mode. Daily is still in bullish mode, but weakening bullish mode. We went through, tested the bottom of the rotation zone, and then rotating back up, still closing in the rotation zone. If we close below the rotation zone, then that will go to neutral mode also. Uh, what I'm just gonna do is the update see what levels we have for next week we I think we had a pausing bar on the four hour yes so four hour pausing bar okay so if it does continue lower next week below this significant level 1368 1370 area we're watching you might find some minor support about 1350 but then 1315 and 1262 to the downside we'll take a look at that daily chart on any rally, this prior major support level is now resistance. So about 1476, 1477 is now resistance. 
because we also have that rotation zone. It's not crossed yet. If we do get through that and through the rotation zone that's flattening out and looking to cross, then I'd watch for a return to about 1556, which was this prior resistance shelf becoming support, and it will turn back into resistance. If we do get above there, then we're about at 1650 again. Daily chart. So let's see how those levels look. Okay, that's this 1262 is just above the 1252, 37.5% retracement, and we have this prior gap still here. So I'd just watch above that, about that 1262. This low here is 1266. So there's some pretty significant support there. If we do break down below there, we have gap fills, and gaps love to fill once the momentum starts going. So you're then looking for about 1221, and then we have another gap, 1,119. Not saying all these are going to have to happen, but if it does continue in more of a bearish tone, then you could. there are plenty of downside magnets to this. In order for it to get bullish, it really has to get back above this 1476 level, you know, and start turning up, and we don't want the cross of the rotation zone. Weekly chart, remember, weekly chart, let me zoom in here a bit. So you can still see that gap on a weekly basis really clear. So we could easily trade down this 1262, which by the end of next week, we'd have the reconnection with the weekly rotation zone. So that would at least reset the weekly rotation zone because we got really overextended. That does not have to be the stopping point, but at least it gets back in contact with the weekly rotation zone. Remember, as we get pull too far away, we tend to reconnect. We reconnect either by drifting sideways and letting the markets catch up or by dropping down. So far, this is starting a pattern to drop down. So that's what we're keeping an eye on for next week. Finally, out of overbought con the overbought condition on the weekly. Let me know if this video helped you guys. Give me feedback, please. You can always send me an email, support of Path Trading Partners also. I don't always get to all the comments, so if you really want me to see something, that is a great way to make sure I will see it. And we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.